You've endured the tumultuous ride and are exhausted from the relentless manipulation and mistreatment. Making the decision to break free is undoubtedly challenging, yet often imperative for your mental health and overall well-being. Let's get straight to the point. Your association with this narcissistic woman has been ongoing for quite some time, whether it spans months, years, or even decades. Despite pouring your heart and soul into the relationship, your efforts consistently fall short. Communication, reasoning, and even pleading seem futile, akin to banging your head against an impenetrable wall. Nothing seems to alter the dynamic because the narcissistic woman thrives amidst this turmoil. They derive sustenance from your bewilderment, anguish, and ceaseless attempts to mend things. You see, narcissistic women thrive within this dysfunctional realm. It serves as their playground, enabling them to extract whatever they desire from you, be it attention, adulation, or the perverse satisfaction derived from exerting control over another. However, the moment you contemplate departure, the tide shifts. You grow weary of being exploited and the one-sided nature of the relationship becomes glaringly evident. It's at this juncture that you begin to discern the true essence of the narcissistic woman. So, here are seven things that happens when you discard the narcissistic woman. Number one, intense reactions. When you discard a narcissistic woman, you can expect to encounter intense reactions from her as she grapples with the perceived loss of control and validation. These reactions stem from the narcissistic woman's deeply ingrained fear of abandonment and rejection, which are central to her fragile sense of self-worth and identity. The narcissistic woman's response to being discarded is often characterized by a range of intense emotions, including anger, rage, and resentment. She may feel a profound sense of betrayal and abandonment, leading to feelings of hurt and humiliation. These emotions can manifest in explosive outbursts or passive-aggressive behavior as she struggles to cope with the perceived rejection. Moreover, the narcissistic woman may resort to manipulation and manipulation tactics in an attempt to regain control over the situation. This can involve guilt-tripping, gaslighting, or playing the victim to elicit sympathy and manipulate your emotions. By instilling doubt and confusion, she seeks to undermine your decision to discard her and maintain her influence over you. In some cases, the narcissistic woman may escalate her behaviors to more extreme measures, such as stalking or harassment, in a desperate attempt to reassert her control and maintain her grip on the relationship. This can pose significant challenges and risks for those attempting to sever ties with her, requiring careful navigation and boundary setting to ensure personal safety and well-being. Number 2. Attempts at Manipulation when you discard a narcissistic woman, you can anticipate a flurry of attempts at manipulation as she endeavors to regain control and manipulate the narrative to suit her needs. This response is rooted in the narcissistic woman's intrinsic fear of abandonment and an intense desire to maintain dominance and influence. The narcissistic woman may employ various manipulation tactics to undermine your decision to discard her. One common strategy is gaslighting, where she distorts reality, denies past events, or questions your perception of the relationship. By sowing doubt and confusion, she aims to make you question the validity of your decision and even question your own sanity. Another manipulation tactic is guilt tripping, where she plays the victim and elicits sympathy to make you feel responsible for her emotional well being. This can involve exaggerated displays of sadness, helplessness, or even self pity, all designed to pull you back into the relationship or make you reconsider your decision to discard her. Furthermore, the narcissistic woman may attempt to manipulate your emotions by alternating between expressions of anger and apparent vulnerability. This emotional roller coaster is meant to keep you off balance and uncertain, making it more challenging for you to stick to your decision to discard her. In some instances, she may use triangulation, involving third parties or spreading misinformation to create discord and confusion. This can be a way of diverting attention from her own actions and making it appear as if others are responsible for the relationship's demise. Number 3. Seeking Alternate Sources of Attention This behavior stems from her constant need for validation and admiration, which she previously obtained from you or the relationship. Unable to cope with the loss of the primary source of attention and validation, the narcissistic woman may resort to seeking validation from others. This could involve seeking out new romantic partners, engaging in attention-seeking behaviors on social media, or surrounding herself with friends or acquaintances who can provide the admiration and validation she craves. In some cases, the narcissistic woman may even resort to extreme measures to garner attention, such as provocative or disruptive behavior designed to elicit a reaction from others. This could include posting dramatic updates on social media, creating unnecessary drama in social settings, 
or even pursuing risky or attention-grabbing activities. Seeking alternate sources of attention serves as a coping mechanism for the narcissistic woman to temporarily alleviate feelings of inadequacy and emptiness resulting from the discard. By actively seeking validation from others, she attempts to reaffirm her self-worth and maintain the illusion of desirability and importance. However, this behavior is often unsustainable and may lead to further instability and dissatisfaction in her relationships and personal life. Without addressing the underlying issues driving her need for constant validation, the narcissistic woman may find herself caught in a cycle of seeking attention from others without ever feeling truly fulfilled. Number 4. Initial Denial Disbelief This reaction is rooted in the narcissistic woman's inability to accept the rejection and the potential threat it poses to her carefully constructed self-image. Narcissistic women often have a grandiose sense of self-importance and a need for admiration. The idea of being discarded challenges their perception of superiority and invincibility. As a defense mechanism, the narcissistic woman may initially deny or disbelieve the reality of the discard, refusing to acknowledge the rejection or the end of the relationship. During this phase, she may exhibit behaviors such as gaslighting, where she manipulates the narrative to make you question your own perception of events. She might downplay the significance of the discard, minimize the impact of the breakup, or even create alternative narratives that paint her as the victim or the one initiating the separation. This initial denial or disbelief serves as a psychological shield for the narcissistic woman, protecting her fragile self-esteem from the emotional blow of rejection. It allows her to maintain the illusion of control and superiority, at least temporarily. However, as the reality of the discard sets in, the narcissistic woman may progress through other stages of coping such as seeking alternate sources of attention or attempting to regain control through manipulative tactics. Number 5. Hoovering This phase is a crucial aspect of the narcissistic cycle, emphasizing their relentless attempts to regain control and reconnect with a former partner. When a narcissistic woman perceives a loss of control, often triggered by a breakup or discard, hoovering becomes a prominent feature in her arsenal of manipulation. This phase typically unfolds after initial reactions like denial or disbelief have failed to achieve the desired results. During hoovering, the narcissistic woman strategically deploys a range of tactics designed to tug at the emotional strings of her target. You. Messages laden with nostalgia, professions of undying love, or even promises of profound personal change may flood your communication channels. These overtures are crafted to elicit specific emotional responses, such as longing, guilt, or renewed hope. The underlying motive of hoovering is not a genuine desire for reconciliation or a healthier relationship, but rather an attempt to exploit your emotional vulnerabilities for the narcissistic woman's benefit. Whether through flattery, manipulation, or the induction of pity, the narcissistic woman endeavors to draw you back into her orbit. Number 6. Isolation Attempts Following a discard or breakup with a narcissistic woman, one may encounter a disturbing phase known as isolation attempts. This calculated maneuver is part of the narcissistic toolkit employed to regain control, manipulate emotions, and ensure continued dominance over their target. In the aftermath of a discard, the narcissistic woman may perceive a threat to her carefully crafted narrative and facade. To counteract this perceived loss of control, she resorts to isolation attempts, a strategic effort to sever or weaken the connections between the discarded individual and their support system. Isolation attempts can manifest in various forms including the spreading of misinformation, character assassination, or manipulating perceptions of friends and family. The narcissistic woman may engage in a smear campaign, painting a distorted and negative picture of the discarded individual to those around them. This calculated move aims to erode trust and create a divide between the individual and their social circles. Additionally, the narcissistic woman may employ guilt-inducing tactics, attempting to frame the discard as a personal betrayal or abandonment. By fostering a sense of isolation, she seeks to limit the individual's access to external perspectives, support, and validation, thereby consolidating her influence and control. Number 7. Retaliation Fueled by wounded pride, bruised ego, and a relentless need for control, the narcissistic woman may resort to vindictive actions aimed at punishing the individual who dared to reject or abandon them. Once discarded, the narcissistic woman may feel a profound sense of betrayal and humiliation. In retaliation, she may unleash a barrage of vengeful behaviors designed to inflict emotional harm and assert dominance over the discarded individual. Retaliation tactics can take various forms, 
ranging from verbal attacks and smear campaigns to malicious rumors and social sabotage. The narcissistic woman may resort to character assassination, spreading lies and half-truths to tarnish the discarded individual's reputation and undermine their credibility. Furthermore, she may employ gaslighting techniques, attempting to distort reality and manipulate perceptions to cast herself as the victim and the discarded individual as the villain. This gaslighting may serve to invalidate the individual's experiences, emotions, and sense of self-worth, further perpetuating their psychological manipulation. In more extreme cases, the narcissistic woman may resort to legal threats, financial manipulation, or physical intimidation to assert her dominance and exact revenge. Regardless of the specific tactics employed, retaliation serves as a means for the narcissistic woman to regain a sense of power and control over the situation at the expense of the discarded individual's well-being and peace of mind.